Good afternoon. This is part three of some reasons causing us not to cue straight and in turn why we miss certain shots. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. I'm Jim from Bang Time Pool. Uh, gave us a little break yesterday. I want to come back with part three. Now, in the comments, leave if you would like to see part four. I do have hundreds of reasons why I personally miss shots, but um, I do have a lot of reasons why um, most of us do miss shots due to not cueing or stroking straight, okay? So today I'm gonna to touch on about three areas. The first one I see, I see a lot. Um, it's steering English, okay? So an example would be, I'm relatively straight on the eight ball, slight angle in a game of nine ball, so I need to get on the nine. So I see this all the time. Left hand English, because I wanna come off this rail, spin down for some position. So we wanna play some left hand English and I see this. Now, first of all, I didn't pocket the ball. Second of all, absolutely no control on the English, okay? As you noticed, tried to apply more English by throwing the cue ball, okay? First of all, we're not gonna be cueing or stroking straight. Let's just make sure we play our English with speed. And as I said before, take what the table gives you. Okay, don't, don't try to get greedy. That's one I'm gonna talk about today a little bit as well. Um, we're gonna talk about stance a little bit. This is an example of stance. Okay, I may have to shoot left-handed to win that game, okay? <clears throat> so, steering English is the first one I want to talk about. Okay? It can happen in a, a lot of different ways. It could be draw. You know, when you're drawing the ball, you could try to steer it as well. Absolute, absolutely we cannot do this, okay? You see the difference. You saw the English that was applied with a perfect stroke or relatively good stroke, okay? Um, let's not try to steer English, for instance, if I'm going to, let's just say I'm going to try to follow this, I'm going to put a little angle on it, I'm going to try to go three rails, you know, the, the bottom line is I need to make this ball in order to get a shot on this ball. If I'm trying to get too greedy, put too much English on the cue ball, okay, I got great position, but here is the ball that needed to go in the pocket. So trying to steer English is another reason why we don't cue straight, causing us to miss shots. All right, so the second reason I want to talk about today that we don't cue straight, which causes us to miss shots, Game of nine ball, I'm on the eight. I'm able to see my line, step into the shot, execute an easy draw stroke, pop the knot. Now, how many of us out there practice this shot or this shot even if it's off the rail a little bit or this shot or left-handed this shot how many times have we put ourselves in that situation in practice when these situations come up, 
it's not your Saturday night playing for a beer. It's usually playing for a set, playing for significant money if that's what you do, okay? We need to put ourselves in situations. Another example, and I'm putting, putting examples out that happen all the time. I'm a right-handed player. I need to get back on the nine ball. Now, I could roll up, have my cue ball in this area, and play the nine the length of the table. Or I could simply draw the ball back if I put myself in this situation and I feel comfortable enough with my left hand. Now, that's the kind of shot that we want to, to end a set. We don't want a seven and a half foot shot on the nine ball. So let's put ourselves in situations that we're not used to. Again, if this was for the game, is this the first time that you have ever stroked a ball getting one leg up on the table? As you can see, I practiced this. That was pretty comfortable for me. I know that my stroke is gonna be not perfect, but I put myself in that situation. I've been successful a number of times where I feel confident that I can pocket that ball. So that's another reason, our stance, okay? Again, we can step up, see our line, and we're comfortable, everything's great. But when we put ourselves in odd situations, that's when our stroke is off. So that's another reason. All right, the final reason I wanna talk about today, as I mentioned earlier, was being greedy at the table. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting better position, but you have to be realistic. You have to be smart about your position and what point in the game you are. For instance, I'm playing a game of eight ball. I'm on the three. I'm straight in. Now, here's what the table gave me. I'm looking at it. The table gave me a stop shot, the victory. Now, what do I mean by getting greedy? Set the same scenario or close to it. I'm straight in. What are my options? Come backwards. I'm going to flirt with the side pocket. Now, of course, if I can cheat the pocket and I can come here and here, of course, yes, great. Great shot, but do I want to take that chance that I'm going to scratch or get behind the nine ball? Or even before that, maybe miss cue because it's going to take a pretty good stroke to draw that ball from here to here. Okay, another option I may have, might have is to go forward. Okay, cheat the pocket to the right, put a little bit of top right hand, come off this rail, this rail, and come down into this area. Of course, easier shot on the eight ball. But do I want to risk that I, first of all, I'm cheating the pocket that I rattle it here, or I don't cheat it enough and I get bad position off the rail, maybe behind the nine, the 12 or the nine. Again, don't get greedy. Of course, better position gives us a higher shot percentage. But in this case, be smart about your position. Take what that table gives you. This is where you left yourself. Where your opponent left you. Okay? Have confidence in your stroke. Have confidence in your stroke that you can play a stop shot and a seven and a half foot shot for the win. Okay? So those are three more reasons why our stroke is off, okay? The last one, we try to get greedy. We try to do too much with the cue ball, okay? We were straight in. When we try to do too much with the cue ball, our stroke is not going to be pure. And that's my puppy down here. Hey, say hi. 
Yeah. He's laying down. Um, don't get greedy. Take what the table gives you. I hope this is beneficial to at least one of you out there. I want to help your games. Um, if I help one person, you know, that's what I'm looking for. If I help more than that, then all the, all the more better. Okay. So again, thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment. Do you want me to continue with this? Uh, I don't have to do it, you know, tomorrow. I can just continue in, you know, a couple days. Things let you digest these uh, 10 or so that I've given you. And um, again, leave a comment. Um, leave a comment on some reasons why you think we don't cue straight, causing us to miss some shots. And I'll touch on those if I feel it's, you know, a valid reason. And um, of course, subscribe if you haven't. Um, let's keep building the channel. And um, other than that, everyone stay safe and have a good one.